Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been stuffing around with this guy for way, way too long. So I'm going to put him to the side for a while while I work out his problems. Get him running right. In the meantime, I've knocked up a few of the little surface lures because I lost my last one at that dam that time. Going for a poly bib this time. So I've got three of these I'm just going to paint up. I didn't film the um, shaping of the lures because they're extremely basic. There's not much to them, a little bit of wet lead in the tail just for casting. So they cast, they sit in the water a little bit tail heavy. And also keeps them a bit stable when they're kicking around. If you don't have that weight in the tail here, they flop around real bad. So hey, got one coat of clear coat on these already. I'm just going to give them a nice roughen up and then base coat them and paint them. Still have no idea what colour I'm going to paint them. Probably go... Probably keep one nearly fully black. I'll probably go... I don't know, I might go a green and I might go a pink. Put some contrasting colours on them. <coughs> Only a bag of paints arrived, so I'm sure I'll find something in that bag that's going to be appropriate for what I want to do. Don't know what yet. I'll play around with that when we're actually painting. I'll just pick some stuff out at random and we'll run with that. Now, right. I'm going to prep these up. I'll give them a quick sand to scuff up this clear coat. Then we'll get to painting. Alright, so I'm going to go pink all over, it's more of a, well I don't know, purpley pink, it's a little bit darker, run that up the sides on the shoulders then I'll do a pattern on his back with purple, I'm going to come back with that same silver foil that I used last time, put some stripes on his side, it's pretty basic but it'll look alright. Next one. Yellow belly, light green side, dark green pattern back. Might go over that with black afterwards, put a pattern over it. The last one's just going to be pretty basic. Gunmetal grey with a brassy bronze pattern. Not sure how dark this gunmetal is going to be once it's sprayed. Looks fairly shiny. What pressure am I? On? Very shiny. Oh, just going with the basic round scale mesh, I guess you'd call it. Try and get it straight up your spine. Alright, so I'm going to hit it with this brassy brass, it's called. Change my mind again. This one called Glorious Gold, it'll be very, very similar to the bronze, or the brass, sorry, I should say. I was going to put a little splotchy pattern on him, just to break up the monotonous of it. And I might hit this one with a 
gold flake or something in their clear coat too. Now put some metallic black in the brush and try and tip the scales. So I'll just spray, spray high pressure from a distance on an angle, like parallel with the bait, if you know what I mean. Actually, let's keep it to three colours, we'll hit it again with this gun metal. Looks alright. Might give him another slap up the guts with that, that black. I scratched it a little bit when I put that mesh on, but it looks. The charcoal, sorry. Gunmetal. Third time's a charm. Oh, a bit of grey around the eyes. That's going to do him. Put him aside and get one of these bright coloured ones going. Just going to go white base coat. So all these paints are all these game air brand. So I've got moon yellow on the belly. The scorpina, green, up the sides and on the back. And then I'm going to do, a, actually if I go over this one with black, this one's called sick green. It's like a, I'd nearly say it's moss green, but a little bit lighter. If I'm going to go over that with black, I might actually alternate those two on the sides, similar to what I've done with the bronze and the gold on the last one. And then I'll put a black pattern over him. I think I'll do that. So moon yellow on the belly, upsides obviously a little bit, you're gonna, gonna be blending it, so. It's really nice yellow, might do his whole face yellow. Not his face, but you know what I mean. How do you pronounce that? Escorpina, green maybe, I don't know. So it looks like a pastel green in the cup. Match the front up as well, may as well. I'm going to hit this one while it's still wet. Similar to the gold, just splotches here and there. Because I'm going to put that pattern over his back. This lure is going to end up reasonably dark as well at the end, I guess. So this one's going to look very similar to the surface walker, the very first video I ever posted. I lost him. He's up in a tree in Hins Dam on the Gold Coast. Because I can't cast. I always have issues. Wicked detail smoke black, right? Will not spray for some reason. So it's probably 25% reducer in there at the moment. I'm just going to hold it pulled tight like that. And I'm going to spray the face, face as well. cool. I'll give an orange chin an orange tail just to, to break it up a little bit. And here's one called hot orange. Actually what am I doing with the eyes? I haven't thought about that yet. Now, touch of hot orange on the... I don't only go under his chin, I won't do the tail. Now, while I got that orange in the brush, brush at least holographic, we we'll call them eyes, they're not actually eyes. Got them from the craft shop. Yeah we're gonna do that. Those eyes for that guy. And I'll do something similar with the um, the black bait and blast its eyes with the colour shift purple. There's no purple on the lure, but there might be in a minute. Once I've got this in the gun, I reckon if it looks good, I might squirt a bit on the on the lure. What are we thinking? Let's colour shift his face and his belly. I'm just using not craft shop pink. Just because it's a, a very pale pink compared to whatever, he, like the other colours I've got. Both the other colours are actually called purple, but I don't know, looks pink to me. Alright, so the next one's called Warlord Purple. Hopefully this next colour is pretty opaque because that's it's fairly vibrant. So the next one is called Alien Purple. I'll just use this stuff. It's a pretty big weave spiderweb pattern. I'm only really going down the back, so this one's going to have that silver stuff up its sides. 
Just gonna do the same thing I've done with the onion bag, just hold it tight and spray it. It's pretty trippy. That's those eyes, crystal moonstones. So this one I'm literally just gonna put them in. Put them in straight silver. I think it pretty much does us. I'm gonna glue some eyes in and throw a clear coat on it. Oh well, now it's orange around the side. All right, <clears throat> we'll clear this guy first. Then I'm gonna put some sparkle in the other ones. In case anyone's wondering, <clears throat> I'm using metal screw eyes, so I've just got the holes pre-drilled. And put them in after. Pain in the ass, clearing the paint off the screw eyes. I'll probably wait for this set of clear coat to set up. I'll put the screw eyes in then, just in case I have any glue spills or anything. Then I'm going to clear coat again, second time. Don't put too much. This pink one was the um, the one I tested all the weights and everything with, so it's already got screw eyes in it. So just gold glitter. Alright, here we are. Been on the turner. Obviously the first coat of clear coats generally not always perfect, so it's a few lumps and bumps. I'm gonna get these nails out, get the screw eyes in, then I'm gonna put some final decals on pretty much all of them. I think I might have went over the top, but here's what it is. So that's just a general nail. I put a touch of super glue on it, stick it into the screw eye hole just to hold it. So they don't slip out when they're on the turner. Give them a slight twist and it cracks that super glue and out they come. Alright, plan B. Using five minute epoxy because my super strong's dried up. Sitting out in the shed, it's friggin' hot. It's over 40 degrees in there, easy. So we use a five minute. It's not the preferred method, but only option at the moment. So screw eyes in there, they hold in there pretty well anyway, so once that epoxy sets up they won't be able to spin and they'll be pretty damn tough. So the first one we'll work on is the easiest one. It's only got a back sticker and two two eyeballs. And these eyes in the right spot's gonna be the hardest part I think. How hard is it to stick something onto the center of something else? I don't even know if it's gonna look any good, but I don't know unless you try. I don't know if it looks better with the pupil or not. So it looks a bit funny to me, but we're going to run with them. There we go. You can really see how bad that epoxy is on the first first run. Hopefully it wasn't the humidity. It was freaking humid in here last night. So the second one's just a, an Arbor logo down the back. And that's that one done. Extremely hard to read, but it's on there. You can see that black holograph. Yeah, we'll do the black lure next. Oh, this is the same stuff, black holographic. The text is slightly different from the last one I just put on. And this thing, I literally Googled a picture of a fish, traced around his gills, and then I just went freehand and drew these on the vinyl cutter program. Literally just making odd shapes and joining them back together. And same again. Can't remember what the gills were, but I just traced them. Done a double line, got rid of it. This is from a picture of a fish, then that. Hand drew one, then just shrunk the size of it every time. Not by width, just by length. So you see as they get longer, uh, get shorter and shorter, the top gets closer and closer. So this one would match this pink and purple lure because it's got a 
purple to blue sort of shift in it when you get it in the right light, which I can't seem to do right now. Step more clear coat. I'll do it next time though. I'm going to keep it further back from that eye. Looks a bit silly. I'll just reduce the gap between this first line and the gill, the gill plate. So I'm currently using Envirotex Light. These bottles are starting to get a bit old, so I'll probably look at replacing them soon. Yeah, when I first started using this stuff, I used to have massive issues with it. I think that was it. That's the only thing I've changed. Just give it a 10 minute rest before you use it. And apart from that, the double cup method, so you don't end up with any unstirred epoxy. Because at this present moment, there's probably epoxy down here that hasn't been touched. If you get that on your brush and put that on your lure, obviously it's not going to set up like the rest of it will. Blue brushes. Get them on eBay. I bought 100 for, I don't know, I think it was $12. Actually, one thing. Crimp the end of them because bloody bristles come out. I uh, don't know whether you can see that or not, but there's a lot of bubbles in there. It's cloudy. Clean that brush out and just let it sit Get back in about 10 minutes. I don't know whether you can see that now, but that's crystal clear, not a single bubble in it. Stop. That's the 10 minute timer up. Alright, see you guys tomorrow when I get them off the turner and put the bibs on them. <clears throat> Not happy with how these eyes look on any of them. I'm going to use this one as a trial because I think it is not the best one. Let's see if I can drill those plastic eyes out. reasonably well. Made a bit of a mess but I'll tidy that up. Alright, so I've drilled out all these eyes. Just wasn't happy with them. They didn't look that good. Just painting the ass because the lures are pretty much finished. I'm nearly finished the video so I'm going to use this extremely opaque black to do the pupils and where the drilled out eyes are I'm going to come back through with this gunmetal fill up the eye hole so it doesn't look so open and raw I'm using 10 millimeter glass kabuchons kabochons not sure how you pronounce that 10 mil glass eyes so I've just got the eyes sticky tape down just so they don't run away Gonna mist them lightly. <clears throat> so, green lure I'm gonna use. Is that livery green? Livery green. So, just enough that the holographic background's gonna stand out. It's probably gonna be pretty damn gold. I'll leave that touch of gold in there and we'll do a pinky gold eye. Alright, that'll do. I'll let those eyes dry for a minute and we'll glue them in. What do you reckon? Was it worth changing those eyes over or not? I reckon they look like ten times better. So here's a quick look at me polybender while we're waiting for that epoxy. So these is polycarbonate. I don't even know what you'd call them. They're the, the scrap piece after we punch a, a hole in the door at work to put a door handle in. 
UV stabilized polycarbonate. So this little metal jig that I use. Hard to show the camera and do it at the same time. Just line where these notches are. And just get your ruler and join the lines. A little poly bender is pretty much like a little metal brake press, like a manual brake press. You'll see when I show you it was built out of necessity. It is very rough, but it works. Alright, there she is in all the wooden glory and nuts and bolts and screws and it wouldn't win a beauty contest, that's for sure. You just slide that line in. Lighten the screws down. Got a stopper over on this side so I can't bend too far and literally just bend it up. Poly carbonates fairly susceptible to, to manual bending. And that's it. She bent. I'll rip that plastic off and show you. That's it. Bent. Not a single scratch on it. All right, just grab these lures off the toner. I'm gonna just clear out the um, the hook eyes and put the bibs on them. So the plan worked on that back one. No cleanup required. Front one, not so much. Let's see on this black one, maybe we'll focus. That idea worked perfectly. Not a single bit of cleanup required. Hopefully this one clears out as good as the other one. Right, so when I join this bib on, I'm going to use a slightly longer screw eye. Because obviously if you've got a fish on, it's going to be laterally pulling that way. So a bit more length, a bit more thread. I'll prep these other couple up, then I'll glue these toe points in. That'll be them, done. guys it's gonna wrap this one up I'm glad I put the effort in to change those eyes over they definitely look a lot better than what they did I think the wife's working the late shift this week at work so I'll try and sneak a quick fish in somewhere get some footage of the action Guys are about 95 mil long. Obviously a, a walker paddler style lure. And weigh about 30 grams. So it's sort of on the big end of a Australian bass lure and on the small end of a cod lure. So it should work for both. Alright. Our lure. Catches.